Okay, so we're going to go through the Model Designer app now. Um, you're gonna, you have your, um, I guess, inverted commas, scan, um, if you don't have a Medit scanner, um, already uploaded to the patient's um, file. So we're gonna go up here, uh, so patient's file, file viewer, wherever, Medit model builder. Load that. Okay, and so it automatically will kind of choose um, the ones that you want, um, including the, 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 the attachments, but you got these two, which is basically what we want. Confirm, and there you go. Okay, so it's already in the, the right byte, and then it's very easy. You basically follow these sequence of steps. So first of all, this is not a ready-to-print model. It's essentially, you know, um, hollow um, and not a solid object so what you need to do is you're going to designate um, the area that you want to print it's going to do a pretty lousy job here of um, choosing what you want to print and some people like using this uh, polyline or lasso option I like painting so um, I use this brush option and what you're going to do is you're just basically um, using your left um, mouse click, uh, you just hold and paint the areas that you want to paint, okay? Or what you want to include in your final printable object. So I do want a bit down here. And let's say you bugger up, you make a mistake like here, you don't want this included, don't want this included. Click this deselection mode, and then once again you paint the stuff that you don't want in. Simple as that. Click that back on, and then we're back in business. Now to rotate the screen, uh, basically you hold this in the empty space, you hold the right click button, right, right mouse button, and you rotate. Um, if you want to zoom in and out, scroll button, in and out, and then if you want to reposition the model, you basically cursor on the model, hold the, the, the scroll button, and up and down, left and right. So I'm going to deselect that. And we're going to deselect that. I want some more over here. Now this is so much faster and so much easier compared to Mesh Mixer. That's why I'm not showing Mesh Mixer today. Because I feel that um, it's too complicated. Mesh Mixer is too complicated for the average dentist who doesn't want to play around with all these settings. So that's looking pretty good on the lower. All right. Now we're going to focus on the upper. Uh, can I remove this? Yeah. So one thing you've got to be careful is if you kind of like a lot of 3D digital software, what you see is kind of like what the field or the area that you're going to be working with. So if you accidentally, let's say, paint over here and you bring it over you're gonna actually affect exactly what you see on the other side because it's in your line of sight so you've got to be really careful uh, about your viewpoint okay that's one thing that you have to be really careful of paint this as i said some people really like the lasso option i'm not a big fan um but that's just personal preference i think paint you know or coloring in is a very universal thing um, and uh, people are kind of understand it a bit more readily uh, compared to if you use some sort of lasso uh, polyline selection and then you have to like click or make a shape and then um, it can be a bit confusing for the the beginner so uh, I've always just used the um, the the um, the, the, the brush option. I feel that is much easier to explain. Yeah, it's just, uh, I feel it's better. But personal preference. I'm, I'm taking my time with this. Uh, usually this whole process, no joke, takes me two to five minutes. Um, everything. So in basically um, the, f the other steps that I'll show you, but I'm just taking my time and not rushing things so you can have a good idea of what I'm I'm doing. 
But yeah, that's looking pretty good. Just make sure you don't have any holes. It doesn't need to be terribly perfect, but uh, better. Uh, I think too much there. There we go. Okay, so that's looking pretty good now. Okay, and once again, you follow the sequence, all right? Next. So that you can see, boom, it's cut both arches um, at the same time. Now, this is part, if you want to block off some undercuts, if you're doing a liner work, um, you want to kind of like, um, let's say, I mean, this is a nice straight teeth, but let's say there's a huge undercut there, you can basically uh, click on these um, areas where your brush is and uh, using kind of like um, this is to add material if you want to block an undercut or if you want to remove a material it's over here if you want to smooth something off or if you morph it's kind of like you can like press on it and you drag it um, so all these different options for sculpting so if you want to let's say remove an undercut here you just click here and you can see it's bulking up a little bit okay you're not too happy I'll just undo the button, okay? But generally for study models, you're not going to do any of that. So I'm basically going to uh, ignore um, this function. Uh, the other important one is to fill holes. If you've got any holes um, in your uh, mesh, then it, you're going to adjust this and it's going to fill those holes. So how what the, the software kind of like feels is right. Okay, but I don't have any holes here, so once again, very straightforward software to use. And once again, we follow the next step. Next. Now we're going to align the arches uh, in case you want to articulate them. Okay, usually you're going to put um, one po you, three points, or you can have four points essentially. Um, basically, if you use three points, which I feel is enough, you're going to put one point on mesopalatal cusp of one molar, one on the midline at the incisal edge, and one on the corresponding mesopalatal cusp of the upper molar, and that's how it's going to align, okay? If you want to change it, you can basically um, uh, like a, hold your scroll button over here, move it up and down, but I, honestly, this is pretty fine. And then once again, you're going to click next, and it's going to align your um, models in that, I guess, a virtual articulator. Now, if you're going to print, uh, uh, this is really important if you want to print hollow or solid. Um, I, you, for study models, I would print hollow to save resin, but if you don't want to, that's also fine as well. Um, so, uh, yeah, this is if you want to print solid like this, um, and you would basically make that, that's the smallest you can go. You can even put a bevel, which is really good. Um, it's because it will help you uh, kind of like a, uh, remove the um, the print from your print plate. So bevel is on. Um, straight curve doesn't really matter. That's at the, the kind of like the, the edge. And uh, preview, it's gonna basically preview your printed models like so. Okay. Now I want to hollow my um, um, my models, so I'm. Gonna, usually, if, if you're going to thermoform them, you're going to put a wall thickness of about minimum 2 millimeters. I'm going to put 3 in this case. Drainage holes, you need to have drainage holes um, if you're printing hollow, um, and they're going to have to be right at the base um, of your print, uh, because if you don't, um, that is going to uh, cause too much suction on your FEP, um, and you're going to end up with a failed print potentially diameter I don't really change any of these settings and if you want to have a look at what it looks like preview and there really nice um, and uniform it's so much easier to use compared to mesh mixer um, so yeah I'm gonna print the, them like this and once again you follow the next step now this is really cool uh, if you want to let's say hide this um, you want to create, let's say, a die. Um, let's say you're doing a crown prep on a certain tooth. What you would do is you would actually create a die, and then you would basically um, choose the tooth. Let's say one four, and then you basically 
would create your margin line. Uh, I'm gonna just... Now this is very rough. And you will basically uh, left click um, where you feel it's going. Now this is not going to be great, but if you want to edit it, you just hold the left click on this little circles and just drag it to where you want it to go. But yeah, this is really nifty. Okay. And that's it. Yeah, so I don't have it, <laughs> a proper die. But anyway, um, basically you would create, um, if you have a crown prep, you create or you draw your margin. And once again, you'd follow the steps and then you'd mark the adjacent teeth and then you'd choose the viewpoint of the die. You just follow the steps and it's really easy uh, to follow. I don't have an, a crown prep model here in this case, so it's not gonna create one for me, but you get the idea. Next, if you want to articulate, you have these simple articulators. Um, you can drag them in and out, reposition them. Uh, if you don't like it, just press this delete. I don't really like, um, like for models, some of my models I don't need an articulator. So I'm just gonna delete these. But in case you do, um, you, you do have the option to, um, to uh, have these um, static, um, articulating points at the back of your model, which will you can uh, still kind of like um they, they'll basically um, be joined. This section over here, you can see there's a thin line. This top section will join up to the top, and this bottom section will join to the bottom. So that bottom model will kind of be in the one piece, and the top model will be in the one piece, and it'll fit like a jigsaw puzzle. There's a little bit of a connection over here, um, so that. There's only really one way that you're, and you can articulate those models, but um, yeah, I'm going to delete it in this situation. Next, and then uh, this is really cool. If you want to um, label your models, then you have the option to do so. Um, you can you can basically change the size, type in um, you know whatever you want. Um, I'm going to delete that over here, but basically you get to choose um, where you, 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 you want to move this here and there or up here. Um, it's a very straightforward, easy to use labels, labeling system, which is not done very well in Mesh Mixer. So this is very, very um, easy to use and it really makes it a piece of cake. Um, I'm going to delete it here because I don't really want to label my model. But yeah, and then that's basically it. You've created your 3D printed model. Um, it's hollowed in this situation. Um, you've got your drain holes at the bottom, so you know that you're not gonna cause too much suction on the FEP. And um, yeah, it's good to go. Um, it's beveled margin, so it's really easy to pry away from the build plate. Uh, it's a really uh, nice and convenient um, app that I would recommend for all your um, model preparation purposes. So yeah, that's basically how to use the model designer app.